All right, what's up, everybody? So normally, when we go fishing, uh, since I've got this boat, I've had a real issue with trying to figure out what to do with my rods and reels, and not to mention all mine. I usually carry six. There's only five here. But also the whoever comes with me. And it's been a dilemma of mine. Do I cut a hole here and make a rod locker and go all the way up to the front? I really don't want to cut no more holes. Um, so last weekend, my father and I went on a fishing trip. I didn't film it because it was just a, a day for us to spend together. It was an awesome day. And uh, But what my dad did opened my eyes to something. He put his he put four of his rods across the back deck and ran them right up this side here. And I thought, well, huh, I have some little mountain straps. I think I'll try to install those. And I said, well, shoot while we're at it. I'll go ahead and I put two or three of mine up here on the front deck facing back that way while we was running from one place to the next and they they just sat there real good and they really didn't seem to be in the way even though this is a small deck so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and mount a strap back there for the passenger to hold four rods and I need to come up with something right here just to keep the tips from falling off the edge but I'm also going to mount some uh, a strap up there, and I'm going to try to put uh, five or six of my rods this way. And we'll have to see in the next video when I go fishing um, if they're really in the way or not. But I know for a fact I think I could put at least three up there without being in the way. So we'll get into it and see how it comes out. Alright, so I've been looking at this and uh, I think I can get five rods up here fairly comfortable uh, if I don't get them all tangled up. And what I think I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm going to put my two favorite rods or the rods that I fished the most to the uh, inside uh, so I can grab them straight off. And then when I want to go right, I'll just strap it back down. So uh, let's see what we can do with it now. I know it's important when you're doing stuff like this to uh, get all your get all the um, the real handles facing the same way. So I'm going to try to tuck this up tight as I can over here, and we'll see how they fall out. <laughs> takes up a lot of room on a small deck but gosh Lee I hate having all my poles just laying in the bottom of the boat we're trying to walk around all that so I think this is gonna be something I'm gonna try and uh, stick with and see how that comes out
for the day. Uh, I got the uh, the rod holders mounted, and uh, and then I moved the um, the uh, battery charger from under the dry storage under the seat to back of the boat. It's it's hidden. It's underneath back as far back as far as I could get it under there. It was, I could have went a good bit further under there really, but I'd have probably had to take everything out of here and uh, gas tanks and all, and they're full and they're heavy, and I I, mean, I ain't trying to pull all that out right now. So. Let's hope that works. Y'all leave me um, comments down in the descriptions of what do you think? Is that uh, is that too close to the uh, is that too close to the gas tanks to have the battery charger there or not? Let me know. Um, these are vented. I keep them closed when I'm not using them. Uh, as y'all saw, I ran a drill right there. Um, everything went fine. So let me know what y'all think. I appreciate everything, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.